Hey guys, Nicole here. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to make my natural DIY toothpaste. So let's move on over to the bathroom, let's put some ingredients together, and then let's try it out. Okay, so now let's talk about how to actually make this stuff. So it's actually pretty easy to make. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do equal parts of Benonite clay, which is here, this is the one I have, and there will be an affiliate link to all of these products in the description box below. So this is the Benonite clay I use, and then I just have some baking soda here, and I use equal parts of that. So for something like this, I would fill it, fill it again about maybe like to here with baking soda, and then about to here with Benonite clay. And from there, I add some cinnamon, which I have here. So I just got this on Amazon, it's just this organic cinnamon powder. And I will add that to taste. So if I had to guess off the top of my head, I probably put about a tablespoon for a container this size. And then I will add mint extract. And again, this is to taste. I probably put, I don't know, maybe 20 drops, maybe more. I kind of like the minty flavor. And it's important to use mint extract and not mint uh, oil because some mint oil isn't supposed to be ingested and can make you very sick. So please be sure to use something food grade. If you have mint oil that is food grade, then fine. But I always just go with mint extract to be safe and it's pretty much the same thing. And I basically just pour it in. I don't know how many drops, excuse my, <laughs> my old beaten up jar, um, but maybe, you know, 20 drops. And then I basically just put the lid on, mix it all up, and then I am ready to brush. And you could see a little bit kind of gets stuck to the side from the liquid, but you can just brush that off. And then of course between um, each, I guess, refilling of this, I put it in boiling water to disinfect the inside. And again, since I'm already washing my toothpaste with peroxide, I probably don't need to do that, but it's just to be extra safe, just to make sure that no bacteria is stuck in there. So when I'm ready to use my toothpaste, all I do is I just turn the sink on, I rinse my toothbrush a bit, and then I just take it and dip it in my toothbrush, which, or I'm sorry, my toothpaste, which is very hard to do with only one hand, but typically it's much easier. And basically you'll just see enough of the paste to basically cover the entire head of the toothbrush. You can obviously use more or less depending on your personal preference. And then I kind of just shake off the excess. Usually I rinse this one more time just to get a little bit of more, little bit more water, and then you are ready to brush. So you'll see now that I'm done brushing, there's a little bit of the toothpaste left on the toothbrush and that's pretty common. So what I do not only to clean the toothbrush but to also get some of that residue off is I pour a little bit of peroxide over it. So here's the peroxide I use, it's just a CVS brand peroxide. And what I do is every time after I brush, I take the peroxide and I just pour a little bit over my toothbrush and then I let that sit while I'm using my water pick, so maybe for a minute or two. That isn't absolutely necessary, but to me it just disinfects the toothbrush since I'm dipping it back in the container every day. I like to, I don't know, just keep sanitation in mind. And it also will get rid of any of the buildup. And you can tell when the peroxide's done because it will stop bubbling. If you put the toothbrush up to your ear, you should hear some bubbling noise. Or if you don't, it means that it's just, there's nothing for it to disinfect. And then about once a week, I'll take my toothbrush and I'll put it in a cup here. And I'll fill this cup up with just enough peroxide to cover the head of the toothbrush. And I'll usually do that in the morning. And I will go ahead and go to work and let it sit. And then I'll come back at the end of the day and then just rinse it out again. So that just does another dip, deep cleanse. It really gets all of the buildup out and leaves your toothbrush feeling completely brand new and clean. So now let's talk about the flavor of the toothpaste. So I have a very brave friend who decided to try it while we were traveling and she mentioned that it tasted like salty dirt, so not the best. When we were traveling, I didn't have time to actually add the cinnamon and the peppermint, so I could definitely see that flavor being stronger and it also makes sense because benonite clay is basically clay, like dirt, and then the um, salt comes from the baking soda. So that being said, there are two things. First of all, I promise you will get used to it with time. I don't even notice it anymore. Uh, second of all, if you want to change the ratios, you totally can. I started out using a lot more baking soda, so it just tasted salty and not so dirty. Dirty, But then I eventually added more benonite clay, which obviously made it a bit more dirty. I just added more benonite clay because it's supposed to be really good for your teeth with all of the minerals it has in it. 
Third, you can always add more cinnamon and mint, so don't be intimidated to add like a whole bottle of mint extract if you just absolutely hate the flavor. I add quite a bit, so don't worry about that, and plus it gives you nice fresh breath. So hopefully you guys enjoy, uh, hopefully you can get past, past the flavor and be cavity free.